hello everyone welcome back to the channel so in continuation with the last video where i have explained related to the cron job in today's video we will see how we can create a bottable cron job so if you have not yet subscribed the channel friends so please subscribe it like the video and share it with your friends also whatever your feedback is please put that in the comment so let's go and check the code so in the last video we have created a cron job hello world which on a regular interval is printing this hello world now in today's video we will see how we can make this cron job abortable so for this what we have done is we have overrided the method is abortable to true because if you go to this abstract job performable which is the out of the box class and is needed in order to create a cron job so if you go to this uh, to this class there you can see that this is abortable method is returning false always so if you have to create a cron job abortable so this is the prerequisite you have to create this uh, method is abortable you have to override it and return it as true the other thing is which you need is you have to uh, use this method clear about requested if needed and you have to pass the model cron job model in this right and from here you can return this perform result which is as error and the status as aborted so with this you can set a cron job as abortable so in this example what we are doing is we are printing this hello world say, uh, say 1000 time and after printing every time we are putting a thread to sleep for five seconds and then again it has to print hello world so where we need uh, this in which situation we need is abortable where in which situation we need a cron job cron job should be uh, should be abortable so for instance uh, like uh, a, any job uh, that that runs for a longer duration say for two to three hours right and if at some point of time it gets it gets stuck and you want to like abort it right so in that particular situation this comes uh, this is required this is useful so with using this method first by overriding the is abortable method and then secondly passing the model in clear about requested if needed method you can make the cron job abortable so if you want to check what is written inside this clear about requested if needed then you have to go inside this abstract job performable class and there you can see that what this method is doing so here we are passing the cron job model and it is checking whether the the get request about is true or not if it is true then it is like saving the cron job and returning the value as true otherwise it is returning as false so this is what uh, it is doing so hope uh, you you got the point and once you are done with your changes after that we have to uh, do the ant all and start the server so let's do that so now here we are doing and all uh, so I have to like set the environment first right so the environment is now set we'll do and all and parallelly will start give the command to start the server so that after and all it will list it will go to start the server so let's for wait for it to be over now once our server is up we will go to the back office right and uh, we'll open the r cron job hello world cron job and in here we can see that uh, the job is currently running and if you open the console logs then we can see that hello world is continuously running so why is it continuously running because we have uh, in in the code we have provided a loop till 1000 and for every one loop it will wait for five seconds so that is why we can see that the current status of the job is running okay so the current status of the job is, is still running now 
we have to abort this job so once you will uh, implement the job as abortable here you can see that this abort cron job button will get enabled so once you will click on it it will ask you if you want to abort this cron job click on yes and then refresh the cron job so here you can see that the current status become aborted and the last result comes as error why is it so because in our code we have written that if the cron job is abortable it gets aborted then at that time we will return the result as error and the status as aborted also i have printed this log the job is aborted so if you check the log right then here you will see that here it is printed the job is aborted so with this friend hope now you are clear how we can create a abortable cron job in hybris if you enjoyed the video then please like it subscribe the channel and share it with your friends thanks for watching it friends happy learning